what's your relationship to like therapy and all that shit? Hmm. I actually about to embark on that, um, like a couples therapy or what have you soon. But I probably need to do it myself too, because I got a lot, like even before you get to that. I honestly, it's, it's a thing now, but since I was young, in the thick of while everything was hectic, um, at one point I had to go to therapy and it was just this person that was just talking fast and, you know, I'm, I'm guarding my, you want to know all this personal stuff or whatever, but I'm looking at you like, what make you feel like, like, you know, I should be talking to you about it. Like, and I kind of, I guess in my own way, I just told them what they wanted to hear mm. to get this over with. And then, you know, eventually, it went into the background and wasn't no more. So, mm. so, do you have any apprehensions about like individual therapy? I don't at this point. At this point, nah. I just I speak freely now. Okay. Like, um, at that point, that was back when I was like running away and all that, and <clears throat> and then actually later in life, I um. I realized that certain stuff I went through, I kind of, like when I moved with my moms, I literally blanked out, like all of what was going on over my dad's house. And you know, I, years later I had to apologize to my brother and sister for like, it, it might appear that I forgot they existed or whatever, but I, I was really just, I was blocking out other stuff, yeah, and they just came with it. But um, yeah, I, I've over the years, like during that time period, maybe uh, maybe about fifteen, fifteen years ago, certain stuff I just forgot about started coming back mm -hmm. through dreams and stuff and. And then, you know, I, I'm thinking this is like some dream shit, but coming to think about it, this was real. This, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And it just, uh, I don't know, I kind of, at that point I was like mad. But, you know, time passed or whatever, I'm kind of in a better space where I could actually speak on it. But, um, you said your son, man, mm -hmm. is real dialed in mm -hmm. in that way and super connected. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're like that too? Yeah, yeah. He's he's he is he is me. Seriously, I be looking at him all the time. Like even how he handles situations, good or bad. There's little nervous quirks or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like if you pressing them out or whatever, about something, asking them something, it just zone out and kind of like, kind of look at the ground or something till you just fall asleep or something. Or like, you tell him you gotta do this. If he don't really, really wanna do it, <laughs> he really wanna do something else, he'll just fall asleep on you. <laughs> like, I remember that. Nah, but he, um. He he cares about others like as much as himself. You know what I'm saying? Like he's, if anything, I could say, good or bad with his moms and all that. Like he's doing great. Just as a person, he um he he realizes it ain't all about him. And he, he can accept when, when you tell him he's wrong about something, he really will take a second and think about it. And he, he feels bad, you know what I'm saying, about the fact that I could have did better. Or, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or like, 
I give him credit too. Um, I told him the other day, in fact, I told him uh, I like the fact that you could join, you could join on other people and talk trash, but at the same time, you take a joke well. Like, he does. Yeah, you could join on. I get on him all day, talk about how <laughs> ashy his knees is or something. Like, and he'll be, he'll be laughing. You bullying with me. your own son? And, uh, <laughs> we do this. This where we from, John. We do that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm fuck what you call it, bullying and shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's called but, bullying today. Yeah, yeah, it was oh, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. he, you know, I like the fact that even if if he's the 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 uh, the target, he could still take a joke, and um, that trait is going to help him in the long run. Because you're not always going to be on the upside of things. Mm -hmm. and, um, and how you handle is everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's all good to judge people by when they're having their moment, how they act. But in, in the big scheme of things, the more important part is when stuff gets rough. Yeah. What kind of person are you going to be? And I think, and I think a part of... Our job as the people forging ways for the, our, for these younger people mm -hmm. is equipping them mm -hmm. to 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 deal with it. And one of the tools is therapy, bro. Gotcha. Especially because for us, like you were saying earlier, as black men, like people, we dealing and processing so many things. Mm -hmm. We were your son at a certain point, bro. Right. And then right. something happened and we wouldn't give in the tools or equipped in a certain way. And then we, we flip switches. Right. One of, the flip, one of the switches that I flipped being super connected mm -hmm. is I started using my shit on women. Mm. And I started having a lot of unhealthy interactions with women and using them and right. playing games and perpetuating these bullshit stories about, you know, ain't shit niggas and all that old kind right. of stuff. I got the skill. Right, right. Because right. I was born with it. Right. You know, when you care, when you connect, right. you can, if you're experiencing things in your life for so long, that right. care can turn into something that's unhealthy because caring in your mind and your, yeah. in your, in your environment yeah. doesn't necessarily benefit you. Yeah, the yeah. Shit actually starts to hurt you. It and if can, you don't yeah. have therapy... I'm sorry, if you don't have a mechanism to 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 process it in a way that 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 allows you to move forward right. in constructive ways, right. it starts turning into other stuff. And so I'm only my dad, if my dad went to therapy, bro, mm. and talked to me about therapy in mm. that way, my resistance level to therapy True. would be a fucking right. curb, curb right. height. Right. It wouldn't have been. I, that's that. That makes sense. So, makes sense. Um, like sometimes having our children see these things in practice makes it not be so taboo for them when they're ready when they need it because they. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when you connect, man. Like it, man. It, it, I got a godson. I'm. It's a blessing to be able to connect in that way, man. Right. It is. Right. Um, nah, you definitely right. Wow, uh, man. He, my son done told me the most. Seriously. I, I tell him, I tell him all the time, it's at a certain point, he literally saved my life. Like, how old is he? He's 12. Okay. Yeah, he's 12 years old. Was you wilding 12 years ago? But, nah, no, no, not necessarily. So why, why um, he saved? How did he save your life? In what way? Mm, yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't speak. I couldn't be specific in this situation. But um, okay, 